Welcome back. Well, less than 90 days before the general election, the candidates are working hard to get out the vote, but they're not the only ones. Everyday citizens want to make sure eligible voters are exercising their right. Valley News Team's Washington correspondent Ted Fioraliso introduces us to one woman who's taking a creative approach. If you saw this on the street, would you stop to watch and listen? People walk by and they go, what's this? Well, Joan Lipkin hopes you do, because while you're there, you can register to vote. We are trying to find creative solutions to make voting sexy. This theater director and writer from St. Louis launched a voting registration campaign called Dance the Vote at the beginning of July. She says 300 people signed up so far. Lipkin wants others across the country to use her model and host their own Dance the Vote events. We can have all the great endorsements and all the ringing speeches in the world, but at the end of the day, if we don't get people registered to vote and we don't get them to the polls, it's all for naught. If you can be creative about that, that's a good thing too, because you want people to be engaged and interested in the election process. Michelle Whitaker is communications director at Fair Vote, an organization that advocates voter registration. Registration. I asked her if those who registered during campaigns like Dance the Vote actually show up to the polls. She says it depends on where they live and who's running. For example, Whitaker says voter turnout in swing states is typically higher, also in states that have open primaries, meaning you can vote for anyone, not just the candidates in your party. If it's a competitive election, if they know that their vote really matters, that helps drive them. So how will turnout look come November 8th? Whitaker says it's hard to tell. The norm is about 30 percent of the more than 200 million eligible voters. I don't think there's going to be any dramatic changes in the overall turnout, but I think that it's going to be one that people are highly engaged. And there's a lot of issues that are happening also on the local level, so those might impact turnout in different states. In Washington, Ted Fioraliso, Valley News Live. The general election will be held on November 8th. Sports. Before Alex. we get to election Before. talk, we've got football talk. And of course, today is one of those milestones in fall camp for the NDSU Bison. The first scrimmage, we'll tell you all about that, plus some injury news out of the NFL. We'll update you on that next in sports.